don't forget to check out my Patreon where you can get exclusive access to all my picks and all my trades before they hit the market and before they hit YouTube. So what's up guys and welcome back to another video on the Finance Value Guy. Now in today's video, we have got a new video because um, yeah, it's pretty interesting. Pretty interesting is what is going on. Now in today's video, I didn't want to be bearish, okay, but um, it, this is not about the charts, okay? Today's video is actually about what happened um, on these Dogecoin addresses and what we're going to be looking at, okay, is a clue that Elon Musk has left us, okay? Because I feel like Elon Musk just left us a really, really funny clue. Um, something that, you know, someone pointed out in my description. I saw this over Twitter um, and I was like, uh, you know, this is definitely interesting. So um, one account that we've been paying attention to, okay, <laughs> I can't, oh my God. Okay, so one account that we've been paying attention to, okay, is this account right here. Now, if you're wondering what account is this, like what account am I talking about, okay? So this account is the F2A account. Just remember the F2A. Um, and if we go on the, if we go on the 100 richest Dogecoins addresses, um, you guys can see, okay, that if we look at the side, okay, on the number four, we can see that F2A is the fourth richest Dogecoin wallet in the world. Now, one thing is very interesting about this wallet is that this wallet was created in 2021 on a Saturday the 9th, okay? So this was created on the same day as SNL. So as you guys can see, that's when the wallet was created. So if we look here, you guys can see, look at the wallet. The first time there was something in um, was on Saturday Night Live. That was the 9th of May. Um, and as you guys can see, the amount that was in was $1.5 billion dollars okay now bear in mind okay that this is not the only clue that i'm talking about okay i'm going to talk about that you know in a bit but one of the major clues that um you know people are saying that this account is elon musk you know there's many other factors that i'll get into after but one of the clues okay if you watch my previous video the one that i released like four or five hours ago you'll know that i talked about many different reasons as to why this is possibly elon musk i talked about basically this right here i said yeah you know um, and I can't purchase his $1.5 billion worth of Doge on May the 10th. Then on May the 11th, Elon Musk announces Tesla could be accepting Dogecoin. He asked a question on Twitter. Then on May 16th, Elon says he may go all in on Doge, okay? Um, and yeah, guys, okay, so let's just look at the transaction. So the first transaction here, it's for $1.5 billion worth. Okay, if you don't know why $1.5 billion is a significant number, that's because that's the exact same amount that Tesla used when it started its Bitcoin purchasing. Okay, that's the literally exact amount. Okay, if you don't believe me, you can Google it. Okay, just literally type in, um, you know, Tesla 1.5 billion. If you like, go on it, type in, okay, Tesla 1.5 billion okay so as you guys can see there that's proof i'm not just talking out of my ass um so yeah tesla buys one point five billion dollars in bitcoin we all know how that turned out but anyways um yeah let's go back to the wallet so back on this wallet not this one close that down yeah you guys can see okay that if we pay attention okay to these numbers okay you can't really see the numbers but um i'm not sure if you can can i scroll down or what like okay um as you guys can see it says 100 doge okay plus 69 420 okay now 69 420 for those of you that aren't really familiar with memes um 69 420 um is based basically Elon Musk history like look I typed in 69420 and look what came up guys what was the first search result that you saw okay um 69420 was a meme but it's something that Elon Musk has had had a number with now as you guys can see um 69420 meaning Elon Musk's history with model s number okay so as you guys can see okay in true Elon Musk style he entertained Twitter users last night with his company promising to slash the price of the model s to six to nine thousand dollars for twenty dollars what's the meaning behind this so it's a meme okay if you don't know what the 69420 actually mean 69 is a position in I guess you could say in you know i don't want to say the word without getting demonetized but it's how you make a baby they do that position okay now um 420 is basically people that smoke okay a kind of leaf okay let's just say that what's that's what 420 is i'm just trying to not get demonetized guys i don't know what this stuff is so and as you guys can say here if you visit the tesla site it's really priced 69 420 so as you guys can see um that's a number that's where the meme comes from and this is something that elon musk has done before in the past so when we look at this transaction okay not this account because that's not the account not this account because that's not the account or that we'll be talking about it you guys can see um like this is guys this is not a joke okay like when i say this this is not a coincidence okay i think okay that in life okay there are some times and i've been you know seeing this happen in the past there are many different times where there are coincidences okay and i would say a coincidence is when you have perhaps maybe one thing and then another one thing at the same exact time you're like oh but when you have like four different things that all link okay i don't think you can call it a coincidence guys call me a skeptic call me a dodge going pool call me whatever you want i don't think you can have four different things that are all linked together all be coincidentally you know around the same time okay i, I do think that this is majorly connected and you know adding 69 put 420 then plus 69 doge again okay someone adding 69 doge into their wallet I just, I, I really do feel that this is Elon Musk. Now, we could be wrong. This could be a billionaire troll. But when you think about the billionaire clubs, guys, um, let's do a quick Google for a second, okay? 
go on go type in um number of billionaires okay just just look at this okay um there are not a lot of billionaires okay you have to understand that there are only literally 600 billionaires okay 600 billionaires is not a large number now out of the 600 billionaires which of them are you know fans of dogecoin okay think about it okay there's two mark cuban and elon musk now mark cuban wouldn't put his 18 billion dollars net worth wouldn't put 1.5 billion dollars of that into a crypto okay he, he's just not going to do that because he's already got his company now um yeah, as you guys can see, there's not... Okay, well, the world that says there's 2,700 billionaires. The point is, okay, I highly doubt that someone in a country that's not in the United States is going to be messing with Dogecoin on this level. In China, I doubt it. In India, I doubt it. Germany, Russia, you know, in the UK, I, I really, really doubt it, guys. And you have to understand that billionaire just means they have a billion. So um, I'm pretty sure that if they are a billionaire, they're not going to be spending their entire fortune on Dogecoin, guys. Even though it might go up, they're not going to be spending their entire fortune on Dogecoin. So... When we look about the people who can actually afford to do this, the people that may actually have this much amount liquid, okay, because that's what you really need, okay? You could be a billionaire in terms of your assets, but you know, unless you sell it, you don't actually have the money, okay? That's what you need to understand. So someone actually needed to have the money to actually do this, okay? So as you can see, 1.5 billion here. Um, it's now 1.3 billion. So this person is really rich. So they have way more than a billion dollars, which means they're probably in the Forbes top 100, okay? Because think about it, this person was willing to lose $200 million that they really didn't care about. Think about it like that, guys. Okay, um, or they're just really smart. And they know that the price is going to rally between beyond 56 cents. So with that being said, guys, with all those factors, okay, you have to understand that there is a high chance that Elon Musk is going to disclose in a couple of days, in a couple of weeks that he bought Tesla buys $1.5 billion worth of Dogecoin. Now, me personally, that's pretty damn insane like i would not expect that but the point you know like i i have my logical brain which says there's no way a car company is going to be accepting 1.5 billion dollars worth of doge and then we've got the you know other logical brain which says okay oh is this dark mode oh that's really cool i'm gonna start using that in my videos that is way more bright and way more easier to see okay that is cool um <laughs> oh, sorry just just realized that but then we have okay then we have you know the the the, the statistics okay the fact that someone added 69420 okay then they added 69 doge again then they added 1.5 billion dollars worth of doge now at the end of the day this could be an exchange we could be wrong this could be coinbase but if coinbase is going to do this why would they add the same amount of elon musk and why would they add 169420 like who has a billion dollars do that the only billionaire that we know that's eccentric that's kind of a joker is literally elon musk okay that's the only person that we know so I don't know guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section below because this is a debate for you guys um i know quickly before the video ends um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you guys the technical analysis for dogecoin currently as you guys can see here um if i refresh this okay this is the chart that i placed um this is a chart that i placed in the patreon um as you guys can see um it's still trading in my prediction is you know good okay if you want the live charts you can check out the patreon and you get access to the link so that you can follow along if not i'll just you know make videos and you can just get them when they drop but um yeah the point is is that right now this wedge is probably going to form something i me you know what it is guys i would love to tell you that doge is going to go flying up from here um but i i just don't see it happening and the reason i don't see it happening guys is because when we see what's going on in the wider crypto market it's scary okay it is very very scary okay like really really scary now if doge breaks up or down i'm not surprised the only thing that i'm going to be surprised about if doge goes sideways because when you have a wedge like this usually at the end of it something happens and usually literally right about now that's why i said in that video the next 48 hours are crucial okay really really crucial so um yeah with that being said i think elon musk did leave us a big clue and i do think that this wedge is going to break either down or break either up i could be wrong we could be going sideways but you know I guess I'm terrible at my job, but <laughs> um, genuinely, guys, that is what I believe. Now, the reason I'm more bearish and bullish is simply because of what has been happening with Bitcoin. There's been fear in the market. There's been all this stuff that I've been talking about. So if it went down, I wouldn't be surprised. But after that, boy, oh boy, psh, you know, absolutely insane guys plus um the last time we had a bottom guys it was actually around this level 37 cents and stuff like that so we, that's where we were hovering before there was huge announcement guys because this was the announcement phase so if we went back to this level pre-announcement phase i wouldn't be surprised so with that all being said um yeah I, I i think that that is probably where we're headed realistically we could be headed downwards but if we head upwards that's not a surprise either guys i'm just waiting for this um wedge to finish and i'm just waiting to see where the breakout is on either side so um at the end of the day i'm gonna keep watching this chart i'm gonna keep you guys updated and with that all being said i'll see you guys in the next video